It has been three days since Kensington Palace released a manipulated photo of Princess Kate and her kids. Two days since Princess Kate apologized for being a, quote, amateur editor. And now almost three months since she's been seen in public. And while this may seem like a matter of the rumor mill getting out of control, the PR drama speaks to a larger problem dogging the royal family, their very legitimacy. As Tanya Gold writes for New York Magazine, quote, now with a swiftness that no one could have expected after the death of Elizabeth II in 2022, the monarchy is potentially fracturing. Joining us now, former chief content officer for Hearst Magazine's Joanna Coles and my, uh, my knower of all things royal. Uh, Joanna, thank you for being here. <laughs> it's true. I do text you whenever I have a question. W what is happening here? It seems like this is something, whatever is happening behind the scenes, could be easily dispelled by a current photo uh, of Kate, one that hasn't been manipulated, or just like an Instagram live, hi, I'm here, I'm fine. Yes, great question. I don't think it's the fracturing of the monarchy. Let's, uh, I mean, it's true that there is a frenzy around this story. But what you're also dealing with is a palace press office that is really fighting the last battle, which was against the tabloids and against the paparazzi. And so the paparazzi and the tabs have actually played fair during this and left Kate alone. But what, uh, of course, has happened is that people have taken to social media, and that's much harder to control. Uh, so you've got this palace press office that's fighting the last battle, social media out of control, and at the centre of it is a relatively young, she's 42, Kate, uh, woman who's clearly quite ill and doesn't want to be bothered and what's fascinating is that Kate is the master of handling the media. She's had incredibly good press. She does a really good job of being heir to the throne, well, wife of heir to the throne. So it's puzzling uh, what's going on, and it suggests there may be cracks between her and William, but I don't think by any means it's the end of the monarchy. Well, let me ask you a little bit more about that, because what you have now is the king who's currently dealing with his own bout of cancer. It's unclear exactly how serious it is. He's been out of the well, public and eye for... Can I, yeah, can I just leap in another example of the palace press office really handling something badly. Imagine if I called you, Katie, and I said, oh, listen, I've got bad news, I've got cancer. What is the first question you would ask me? Oh, no, what kind of cancer? So that's what they did to the British public. They were like, um, you know, the king's got cancer, and then, but we're not going to tell you what kind of cancer. It's absurd. And it creates a vacuum that people immediately leap in to fill. Well, but if there is such a frenzy and, and so many rumors around what's happening within the institution, does it not create a little doubt about the institution's ability to continue to lead the country? I mean, Elizabeth II was very stoic. She had bone cancer, right? And when she was dying, she was still appearing routinely in front of the, the British public. She was the symbol of the monarchy for the British public. Without her, without that steady presence, and with the, the younger generations who don't enjoy the same level of popularity, and now a new generation of, of, of people growing older saying that they don't really love the institution itself, it feels out of date, does this not all eat into the, into the legitimacy? Well, to be fair to King Charles, I think he's actually been much more popular than people expected. He's always embraced the issues that are actually now very important to uh, Gen Z and millennials in terms of climate change, eating, you know, farm to table. He's a very thoughtful man. It's incredibly unfortunate that after 74 years waiting for the job, uh, within the first year of, of his monarchy, he was diagnosed with cancer. And again, it's unclear because we've not had enough information from the palace whether or not this is treatable is it curable what kind of cancer is it so there's definitely um a vacuum of information around that but william is very popular kate is very popular we're assuming that she will emerge from this illness and that eventually the two of them as is you know as has happened throughout the history of the royal family will that william will ascend the throne and i think people are fascinated by them i mean look Look how much effort people put into dressing up for the Oscars, desperate to have their photos taken on Sunday night, you know, wearing dresses that, that created all sorts of drama. And yet, actually, it was a grainy photo of Kate Middleton <laughs> being driven away by a, uh, by a driver with her husband in the back seat that actually 
caused the internet to break this I, week. I can feel some of my viewers screaming, what's the point of the of the institution? What's the point of it in this modern age? But I am being told that I well, have to leave the conversation here. Oh, I'll, well, to be continued. There's, to be there's continued. lots of points to do them. Yeah, it not is. least that Americans are fascinated. Yeah, we are. It's, uh, but I'll leave it at that cliffhanger. Joanna Coles, always good to have you. Thank you very much.